back to Shenanigans with Mr. Jones. I am Mr. Jones, and in this one, talking about pork butt. And no, not pork booty, but pork butt, pork shoulder, Boston butt, okay? Real quick, in case you didn't know, pork butt is not from the booty, okay? What pork butt is, is probably what you just ate for Thanksgiving, and if you're like me, you're probably gonna eat it again on Christmas. What am I talking about? A ham. Okay, ham comes from the pork booty. Okay, so pork butt literally is a ham. A pork butt, what we're cooking today is a shoulder. It's like the head, then the shoulder, then the shank. I don't know all the details. There are plenty of videos out there that could tell you all about that in great detail. I don't know a whole lot about it, so I'm not gonna go too deep into it. I just know that a pork butt is not a pork booty, okay? So we're doing pork butt, pork shoulder, Boston butt, okay? So, um, that being said, let's jump right on in here. So, like I said guys, got ourselves some, some uh, Boston butts, okay? Got this from the grocery store, and um, one of them's a seven pounder, and the other one's a seven pounder. One's seven and 45, one is 7.56. So, they ought to cook very similar. That's exactly why I chose these two. So, next thing we're gonna do, you guys already know, we're gonna get it rinsed, then we're gonna put it in a pan, then we're gonna make any trimmings that we need to do, and then we'll go from there. So, all right guys, so as you see, I got these pork butts rinsed off, and got them here in my pan. And so what I'm doing now, I'm just feeling them, see if I feel anything hard other than the blade bone. That's pretty obvious, right? That's gonna be hard. Um, it is kind of flaking a little bit, so we're gonna take a couple of those pieces off that are just hanging off. We don't really want that on our meat to chew on. Both these but. butts feel very similar, or they, uh, they look very similar. Um, kind of the same kind of pattern here as far as um, how the fat is. Um, it's a pretty thick cut piece of meat and um, I'm not going to trim off any of this extra fat. I figure I'd leave all that on, a little bit of a uh, barrier to help protect the meat, and obviously to kind of keep it moist along the top. Um, all right guys, so for, for these butts, we're gonna do uh, two different seasonings. For the butt here on the left, we're gonna do, um, we're gonna do some salt, pepper, and cayenne red pepper. That's probably about four to five tablespoons of, of salt right here. So maybe three, two to three tablespoons on that. Same amount, about two to three tablespoons of, of black, of course, black pepper. And then of course, a little bit of cayenne red pepper. And on here, we're just gonna dump that straight in. And so now, we're just gonna get this uh, mixed in. We're gonna season up this butt. Look at all the different seasonings in there. You can see the black pepper in here. See the salt, a little bit of that cayenne in there. Next thing after that, we're gonna use some EVOO, some extra virgin olive oil. We're gonna use this as a little binder, help it rub stick. guys luckily I mixed up just the right amount in this little sugar bottle to um, completely season this um, this first butt here we got on this butt guys we're gonna use some of my GP seasoning that I got here it's a mixture of seasoned salt pepper garlic onion lemon pepper we're gonna use that for the second butt and just like we did before we're gonna sprinkle some in this uh, shaker we got down here try to get enough for for the whole butt that might seem to be about it. And then of course to that, we're going to add a little bit of cayenne pepper to it. 
just to help out with that spice on the end of it. So we got our two butts here, seasoned up. Salt, pepper, cayenne pepper. My GP seasoning with a little bit of cayenne as well. And uh, we're gonna take it to the pit and get a cold start. Here we go. All right, guys. So for this cook, I'm gonna be using the Grill Grill Silverback. Um, and as you can see, we're gonna be using some Lumberjack Pecan pellets. So we're gonna get this guy filled up and then we're gonna bring the meat out and get a cold start on it. As you see, we've got the butts on the grill now, and obviously the next step is to get the grill fired up for our cold start. All right. So, as you said, we got these butts on here. Um, I'm going to go back and get some seasonings real quick and sprinkle um, some seasoning for this side here. As I kind of missed that area. So while the grill is coming up and we're getting our cold start, we're gonna go get some seasons real quick. So you guys stand by. Start started at about 10 15. They got a temp right around um, 11, 15, 11 15. So 11 10, 11 15. And then um, right now it's 14 15 now. So it's right at three hours. We we'll come out spritzing them um, every hour uh, for the last three hours. Of course, we're going to spritz it now. But one thing that I've learned about this smoker is that um, obviously it's a barrel. So a lot of that heat that's coming from the fire pot likes to come over the back and come across the top and work its way out. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to turn these pork butts around so that it's, it's an even cook because obviously the front part of the lid, some of that heat does escape from the front part of the lid right here. So we're going to um, turn them around so that what's in the front, the front of the butts, can now get some of that heat that's in the back so that it's a more even cook. And of course, we're going to get it probed up as well. So I'll rearrange the camera so you guys can see that. story short because right now I'm um, using up time that can be used spent to eating so we're gonna speed through everything that we did real quick number one went out and bought two nice pork butts okay um, number two we rinsed them and trimmed off everything that we did not want to be chewing on um, number three we then rubbed them okay um, one of them was the salt um, kosher salt coarse black pepper and some cayenne pepper Okay, on the other one was my GP seasoning with a little bit of cayenne pepper as well. Okay, step four, put them on the smoker, grow grow silverback, 250 degrees. Um, what I wanted was to smoke them completely on the grill without wrapping, but we needed to wrap them in order to speed up the cooking time and obviously because it stalled out and it didn't push through the way that I expected it to. Now, lastly, or step five, we ended up wrapping them. 
Um, so we smoked them for like five or six hours, and then we had to wrap them. So that was step five. Lastly, probably most importantly, uh, once we got up to about 205, I got up to 208 on my Thermal Pro, and um, but for the most part, I averaged right around 205. So at 205, we probed it with my Thermal Pro, and it was probing really tender, really soft, just like butter, and that's exactly what you want to have. Okay, from there, we let this these guys rest. Now, ideally, you want to let them rest for about two hours. If you can, and if your stomach can wait that long. Like I said, it's 8.30. It's really late now in the day. I should have started earlier, but I didn't. But like I said, it's late, and we're hungry. This is our dinner, so we're going to die right on in. Um, and then if letting it rest isn't important, thoroughly enjoying your meal that you put all day, all this work into and all this love into, is, is you definitely want to enjoy your meat. So that said, before we get too far, I have my little barbecue sauce that I've kind of mixed up here. And then um, I'm gonna rearrange the camera here so we can see the meat. I, I think we're gonna do, as far as camera, I'm just gonna show you guys one of these. I think it's this one's the salt and pepper. Um, but whichever one we do, you guys are gonna see one and we're gonna keep on. Going. You guys can see I am wearing these gloves lined because this thing is still very hot. As you can see, as I pry this thing open, you see all the steam just rushing out. Okay, now look at that part. Now, your instant read thermometer is, of course, the blade bone. Blade bone comes out nice and clean, as you guys can see. No meat on it. So that's one way you know for sure you got a good pork butt. As you guys see, I tried to, we're only gonna do one of them, like as I said, but we got one of these shredded up so that we make our nice pulled pork sandwiches out of it. We're going to kind of show you guys some of the smoke ring that I was able, that I was able to develop on the outside of this, uh, on, the, on the outside of this meat. You know that smoke ring right there. This is great, man. Um, I guessed right, this definitely is the, um, the salt and pepper. Um, pork butt and uh, it, it definitely tastes good and I'm gonna do a little taste test for you guys on camera I normally don't just because I normally don't have my wife to help me but today I do so bon appetit On a side note, people really often underestimate the power of just simple salt, pepper, maybe minus the cayenne pepper, but just the basics of barbecue, salt and pepper, meat, the barbecue, the smoke, the seasoning, as simple as it can be. And I can tell you what, I like usually a lot of robust flavors and different notes and different spices as a lot of people do, but at its simplest form, salt and pepper, you can never go wrong. And it's always a great start point if you're brand new. This is my first pork butt that I've ever done. I've had pork butt plenty of times, but I've never made it. And I've definitely never made it on that smoker that I just got. So this is <laughs> this is awesome, guys. I really wish you could taste it. Um, yeah, nice smoke ring, as you guys saw. Nice smoky flavor. And of course, it was so juicy, it was screaming hot as I just ripped it open just because we only waited 30 minutes. This other one is going to get a proper rest. It's going to rest out for four, five, six hours before it even gets in the fridge so they can really cool down before we stick it in there. But um, I'm going to take you guys off the camera one last time just so you guys can see some of this meat. But it is so good. Till next time, my guys, I hope you enjoyed this. I am Mr. Jones. Thank you for watching another video. You guys be safe out there, have fun. Keep on barbecue.
All right, guys, real quick. This is the day after we did these pork butts. And I was going to show you guys something. Of course, this is the first pork butt. This was the salt and pepper that we did. Shred it up. It still is kind of moist. It's not dried out. Now, I'm guessing and imagining this was going to be even more. This was the one with the GP and the cayenne. Now, like I said, we didn't cut into this one because I wanted to leave it whole for, um, to, in order to give this one its proper rest. Now, check this out. I'm just going to pull off this blade bone here. Look how clean this bone is. Barely anything on it. There's a couple little pieces of meat here. Well, for the most part, clean. And then, crazy thing is, it's actually still a little bit warm. But, both the bones out, nice and clean. And actually, before we get too far, I'm actually gonna go ahead and try this out real quick. Oh man, look at that smoke ring. Look how deep that smoke got. Well, guys, awesome. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Both these pork butts, seasoned up, smoked up, and deliciously eaten. I'll catch you guys in the next one. You guys be safe out there.